Hey, welcome guys. In this video explaining about 4K, 8K, 16K technology, which is assumed is going to be the next thing after 8K. We don't know that, but there is 16K. Uh, I'll explain how that works. Um, and I also want to explain later on, close to the end of the video, why if you just bought an expensive 1080p TV a few years ago or a 4K TV recently, and you just heard about 8K, don't kick yourself. It's not that bad. It's honestly a waste of money for a lot of people. And I'm saying that as a tech YouTuber. I'm going to explain there's actual science behind it, why I'm saying that. So let's get into it right away. But I'm going to start with 720p. And I know it sounds like we're going backwards, but 720p was the first standardized high definition uh, TV standard for consumers. So I once you understand 720p, 1080p will take a few seconds to understand. 4K, 8K, 16K takes mere seconds after that. It's the same concept over. The P in 720p or 1080p or 2160p, which is 4K, stands for progressive, not pixel. Anyone who tells you it's pixel, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. And I explain the concept of progressive in a different video. I'll put a link to it in the video description. Um, but let's just jump straight into it. So we don't need to know much about progressive for this, but that's what the P stands for. So 720p, which is the first standard of HD, has a resolution of uh, 1000. 280 by 720. So we'll, we'll take a TV, it doesn't matter what size, we don't care. This is our 720p TV. What this basically means is that we have pixels. Now we care about pixels. And pixels are tiny little dots on the TV, thousands, millions of them, depending on your TV, that change colors as the motion changes on your TV. So it looks like you have a moving object, but they're actually still pixels, just constantly changing colors to match uh, the color. So what happens is on the 720p TV, you have 1,280 little pixels going across horizontally. And that happens 720 times. So 1,280 on line two, 1,280 pixels on line three, so on and so forth, and that happens 720 times. That's where we get the number 720 and 720p. Now, it doesn't matter if the TV is 37 inches, or 90 inches. 720p is 720p. Well, let's jump over to 1080p. Like I promise, it's gonna be really fast. 1080 is based on 1920 by 1080. And as you would have guessed, it's the exact same concept. You have 1920 little pixels going across, and that happens 1080 times. So imagine you have um, 1920 columns. Of pixels going across and then 1080 rows of that happening that's where you get 1080 for 1080p okay so 4k is where things are a little um, shady I guess you could say so 4k the initial standard is cinema 4k right and it has a resolution of 4096 by 2160 cinema 4k is designed for cinemas makes sense right However, cinemas have a different aspect ratio than uh, consumer TVs. Aspect ratio, very quickly, I'm not going to get too many technical details, is basically the, sh the shape of the TV. So for example, 4x3 TVs, uh, which are like standard definition before HD, were, well, 4x3 is a very close number. 4 and 3 are very similar, so it'll look almost like a square. Widescreen TVs, for example, you have different filming formats. It can be 16 by 10, 16 by 9, but we'll, we'll use 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is more widescreen, right? This is where this kind of changes. At the cinema level, the aspect ratio is different than it would be for a consumer TV at your home. So they can keep the 2160 the same. That's no problem. We can't have 4096 by 2160 on consumer TVs. It doesn't make any sense. So they're like, well, how do we make it match the aspect ratio of a widescreen TV? We have to shrink it just a little bit to 30, 40. This difference is so minuscule, it's almost impossible to tell with the human eye. There's so many pixels here, it's, it's really difficult to tell. This is also where the name 4K comes from. 4K stands for 4,090 pixels. The, obviously, you should know that K stands for 1,000. Well, there's 4,000 pixels going across, right? Now you're thinking, hold on a second. 4,000 pixels at the cinema level, but that's not 4,000 pixels at the consumer level. Am I getting ripped off? It's how you want to look at it. It's marketing gimmick. 
Um, honestly, even when you buy a computer monitor, if you buy one that says 23 inches, technically it's 22.5. Yeah, marketing garbage. Um, it's also easier to say 4K than it is to say 2160p. And also think about it this way, it's another marketing gimmick that 4K makes you think of 4,000. Initially, that's what your brain is thinking. 4,000 sounds like a bigger number than 2160. More marketing garbage. So they're not really lying. No one actually said, hey, 4K means you have 4,000 pixels across. It's just a name. It's just a naming convention and we based it on this. So no one's actually lying, but that's what it means. So again, for 4K TVs, it's 3840 by 2160, which you get 2160p. That's the standard for 4K. Similar concept for 8K, um, you have 7,600 pixels or 7,680 to be precise going across and that happens 4,328 times, so it's, it's 4,320p. That's what 8K would be considered. Again, you'll notice it's not actually 8,000, it's 76, but no one's gonna call it 7.6K. So they're like, ah, let's just round it up, let's call it 8K, it's just simpler that way. More marketing garbage, but that's what it is. Okay, so as of this video recording date, we don't know what's after 8K, or at least what is gonna be the standard after 8K. This is just an assumption because it seems to double um, you know, uh, 1080p, 2160p, and so forth, and up until we reach 8640p. So I'm just assuming here, but hey, one day we might reach 16k, or we might just skip it altogether, I don't know. But 16k, similar situation, 15,000, 1, sorry, 15,000, we're, we're in the double digits of 10,000s, 15,360 by 8640. Same concept here, same concept here. Again, you'll notice it's not 16,000 pixels, more marketing garbage. So let's pretend you go to TV store. Two TV sizes identical. 47 inch, that's 1080p. 47 inch, that's 4K. Chances are you won't be able to tell the difference in quality, in sharpness detail. The reason being is because there's millions and millions of pixels packed in here, millions and millions and millions of pixels packed in here. The human eye just will barely be able to tell the difference. The only reason the 4K will look better primarily is because it's the newer technology. So TV manufacturers like Sony, Samsung, they're investing in making the colors look better here. But the sharpness will look very identical. I bought my parents a 1080p TV, uh, 50 inch, I think four years ago. It still looks better, if not just the same as 4K TVs that are 50 inch now. And they're more expensive, ironically. So it's not about, oh, there's not enough 4K TV channels, that's why 4K is useless. No, there's Netflix, there's Amazon Prime, there's YouTube, like this video you guys are watching in 4K, 60 frames a second. There's a lot of 4K content, but the science is what's gonna help you argue that you don't need anything uh, at 4K at a certain size, for example. But let's argue where 4K and 8K might be good. Let's pretend you get much bigger, you have a 110 inch projector screen. 1080p will look good on it. I'm not gonna argue that, it will look good. But when you stretch out 1080p, you have to understand 1080p at 47 inches or 110 inches is the same amount of pixel count. It doesn't matter how much you stretch it, those pixels will be spread apart more on a 110 inch projector screen, so they'll look slightly blurred compared to a 47 inch 1080p TV. Now, a 4K uh, 110 inch projector will look much better because you're stretching all those additional millions of pixels across a wider area. So that's where 4K will shine on like say 110 inch projector screen. But again, the amount of pixels going from 47 inch to 110 inch, it always stays the same. Resolution never changes on screen size. Very important thing to know. Well, when does 8K shine? It's a good question. Real, when you're going beyond 100 inches, it, it even then depends how close or far you're sitting from the screen. Distance sitting from a TV also matters on whether or not you can tell the difference between uh, certain resolutions. If you go to movie theaters, that's where 8K and 16K will look amazing because this, the screen size is so massive. That's why a lot of gaming monitors for a good chunk of time, if they were 4K, would not be smaller than 28 inches. It didn't make any sense. Same concept with TVs. So I hope you guys found this video useful. So if you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.